I thought that I would open this on camera because almost every time that I actually get any kind of plant mail. So I thought that I would open this on camera because every time that I get plant mail, it's almost always been dark since I started doing these videos. So now I finally can film an actual unboxing and speak at the same time instead of voicing it over. Yay. So I ordered this package from the plant farm on Etsy, which this is probably my third or fourth order from them. I think it might be my, I don't even know. Oh my God, there's dirt all over me already. Okay. So I think this is like my third order with them. And every single time I've ever gotten any plant from them, um, they've pretty much all arrived in decent shape with the exception of one Hoya um, that looked okay when I got it, but it went downhill so fast. And I don't think it was, I don't think it was entirely my fault. Um, but it probably was. Uh, they always come with a little 10% off code at the bottom of their thing. I wish I had remembered that the other day because it's always the same code. The plant that I ordered is a Colocasia Black Magic. She's, she's, she's here because this is a goth plant. Ooh, ooh, okay. So it's packed in here with packing peanuts and just wrapped. This is the first time I've ever just ordered a single plant from them. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Apparently somebody's had some, some coffee this morning. She's 13 years old. <laughs> you crazy? Are you a black magic kitty? <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna very carefully try to get this out. So they always put these bamboo stakes into their plants when they mail them and I, I think they're the only people that I've gotten plants from that do that. Um, highly recommend this if you do ship plants because I think that this is part of the reason why so many of my plants have gotten here in such good condition whereas you know like I love ordering from Josh's frogs but sometimes if you get delicate things from them they are a little banged up because the pots are so small and they don't have like a stick or anything in them. So it's got three leaves. One is hiding back here. So the leaves look a little sad. This guy here looks like he might have some cold damage or yeah, that definitely looks like cold damage. It's been like 50 degrees out. So like I didn't, well, it's been like 40 and then it's been like maybe in the upper thirties to lower forties at night. So maybe that's, when this happened, but um, but this looks like a newer leaf. And this one looks like an older leaf and it's got a little bit of damage up here. And that looks like older damage. That looks like it was done a while ago. The roots look pretty good. Everything looks healthy. I don't see any buggies. I ordered this on March 27th. Today is the 29th. So it took two days to get here and I got regular um, just USPS shipping. I meant to do the priority shipping like I usually do when I order from the plant farm, but this actually showed up in the same amount of time. So um, that's cool. I tried to email them and upgrade my shipping when I saw that because I was a little worried about the plant, but um, they didn't see my message. So, um, but it didn't matter because it got here early anyway. So this plant was only $6.99. And like I said, I got this from the plant farm on Etsy. So it was a good price for this and I really wanted like a black plant because I like, I like black things and I dressed in black today for my unboxing. Do I have any other recovering goths out there? Um, I just started wearing clothes that weren't black about two years ago. Mara, do you like the plant? It's black magic like you. 
So I would call this another successful um, plant order from the plant farm. This is a pretty fragile plant, so um, I'm not terribly upset that there's just like a tiny bit of damage. Uh, that's kind of the risk that you run when you're getting plants in the mail when it's cold or even when it's really hot. So if you have been wanting to order plants in the mail and you live somewhere where you have seasons, um, you, this might be a good time to order them. So just try to get it done while it's springtime and it's warm, but it's not too hot in like the warehouses and the trucks that the plants will be sitting in um, as they make their way to you. I love it so much. So that's it. I just wanted to do a quick unboxing for you guys while I was able to actually do it the right way. Um, and so I have a couple of videos coming out for you. I have almost finished the editing on my little plant road trip. I went to Jordan's Jungle in Pawtucket, Rhode Island, and then I went to the famous Logie's Greenhouse, and it was... <sighs> I'm trying not to drive back there literally right now. I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna do it. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Oh, thank you guys for the support and I will catch you in the next video. Hey friends. Oh, my, oh our hair. We need hair, we need hair. Yeah. So it's almost, it almost always, oh, I'm not looking at the camera. Pay attention. What's going on? Why am I so pale? So, 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 okay, so, she'll have um, a, almost completed the editing on my Logies and 